Museum of Art Fraud was only three blocks away. That Interstate 60 dynamic was clearly at work again. And my own curiosity was definitely piqued. Oh, you must be Douglas. Oh, thank goodness. I, I'm so glad to see you. I didn't think you were coming. I mean, the agency called to cancel. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I'm Mrs. James, the owner. Hi, Mrs. And James. And they are viewing the originals right now. And I know you're confused, but if you do what I say, I will give you $100. The late Mr. James was most proud of the five original masterpieces in this room. Rarely seen, and per his wishes, never photographed. Monet, Cezanne, Van Gogh, Renoir, Degas. Each is valued in the millions. No less than Bill Gates and Warren Buffett have attempted to buy them. Of course, they're not for sale. Now, if we can proceed this way, Take the paintings down very carefully. Remove them from the frames. And then, after that, put them on the easels out here. Today, you're going to be my nephew, Edward. Now, just follow my lead and go with the flow. OK. This way, please. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our gallery of affordable reproductions. It was my late husband's request that none of his five original masterpieces ever be photographed or reproduced in any book or catalog. So, we offer these copies rendered by my nephew, Edward, at the modest cost of $350 a piece. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask either one of us. How long did it take you to do them? How long? Hmm. Uh, I knocked them all out in a week. I can tell. Some of your brushwork was rather uneven. <laughs> well, you, you get what you pay for. It's decent craftsmanship. Perhaps a little slick. Lacks the artist's soul. Yeah, but I'm just an amateur. It's shameful. Cezanne would roll over in his grave to see such a mockery of his work. Well, let's be glad for both of our sakes that he won't see it. Well, you've heard it from the experts. You have no talent whatsoever. Well, I've never been more flattered. Mm -hmm. My late husband's desire was that his masterpieces be owned by people who would enjoy them, not trophy collectors. Thus, our charade. But do you know in eight years I have yet to sell a painting? Why don't you donate them to an art museum? Oh, upon my death, clones of them will be donated. Clones? Oscar was an art collector, dealer, technical genius, and a practical joker. And wealthy enough to indulge in his most outrageous whims, he developed a process whereby he could duplicate a painting almost on a molecular level. He would borrow a great master from a museum and duplicate it and often send back the copy. And he was never found out. A Starry Night, the original. The one in New York is a clone. This Monet, the art world thinks that the original is in Paris. Unbelievable. So they're all originals. So what does one do with a collection like this? You tell everyone they're fakes. Fair enough. And so, just before he died, Oscar created this. The Museum of Art Fraud, the world's greatest art museum, masquerading as a cheap tourist attraction. Oh my God, that's... My husband, Oscar Warren James. Of course. Of course.